So this is part of the Ferrari uh, 330. I'm gonna make a mold for RC car because it's really not exist anymore. Nobody's making them. Um, this is from the movie Ford vs Ferrari. It's the Ferrari 330, uh, the P3 and a P4. And I could not find it anywhere. After I saw the movie, I have the GT40, and I said I'm gonna make another one. There's gonna be a Ferrari. So it's too big, so you have to print it in section. So far, I have a couple of them that actually failed. The printer get, it was keep getting stuck and it's failed. So this this is one failure. A lot of material got wasted here. And then there was another couple failure. I have a big mess on my table. Then this is beginner that did not really work. And I tried to make a bigger part. I tried to print it as a half a car. And the half it's not mean height wise, it's mean length, and then put two halves together. And it's fell. Um, you can see the detail was not so good. Uh, what happened was I was trying to do it on a lower resolution print to save on the material and it did not really won't, went well. It's actually looked like almost like a big cotton candy. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now, I just print it standing up. And this is the first part and I need to change my filament because I'm running out. And this is on my big uh, TV Tarantula. So follow follow the channel and I'm gonna show how, how it's get made when you can make it at home. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Eric RC Monster Garage. Okay, so this is a continuation video. So this is right now it's still running. I changed the filament, this one. I was kind of running out, so I changed it to gray. It's kind of a silverish gray, it's not really matter what color it's gonna be. Uh, and we're still only at 40, about 46%. I don't know if you can see it. 46% of the front of the vehicle. And it's kind of the second day. So let's see still how long it's gonna take. And what we're doing right now, those are the wheel well, where the wheel's gonna be inside. So, stay tuned. Continuation video, kind of hard to do because uh, I need the camera for other stuff, so I cannot just leave it here. Okay, so we keep the, the show going over here. So this is already the filament number three that I'm using because again I'm using all the leftovers and this is the front end of the car still printing uh, again we're going to do it stage by stage so this is just the front gonna be the middle and the back of the car uh, I got the entire filament right now so it should last for a while so this is the front we just finished uh, it's pretty smooth and now I'm gonna start printing the middle and then later the back. We're still two weeks away from finishing printing all of this. So now we're printing the center part of the Ferrari. Um, now it's this one is start with green and the entire project gonna finish with the green. Uh, I slow down the machine to get a better result. This probably will take about two days or so to print. And it's kind of empty in the inside, just like the outside shell will be very hard. Those small squares is just like a filler, so it's gonna hold the shape. I'm gonna show it in a couple hours again. Okay, so so far it's another two days that it's working on this part. Uh, it will take a while before it will be finished, but it's uh, still looking very good. So, it's very hard to take the picture video right now because of the green material is so bright but this is the center it's almost done it's have another 15 percent probably will take a couple more hours uh, but again this is the progress you guys watching a couple days in literally a couple seconds okay so it's almost done it's literally have half of a percent left uh, this is the center of the car then I have to remove all those uh, support pieces Actually, everything is super smooth after you remove those. 
and this is just the center now I have to print the back it will take another couple days uh, but the Ferrari is uh, almost ready it's pretty smooth so it's perfect and then we'll see how everything connects together okay center part is done now we have to start print the rear air intake end up really nice so this is how the two parts look one near the other uh, it's actually a very good fit we just need to glue them together and meanwhile I just start printing part number three and this is another two day away from what it's supposed to be and right there uh, this is on the software how it's gonna look and how it's gonna move so just stay tuned so you can see it uh, given the kind of rundown of how it's done see you in a few seconds okay this is after uh, 18 hours we see that only like 23 percent of the rear part this entire thing is support and this is actually the car still have another two or three days for this okay this is the last part it's still working very very slow very slow process uh, with 57 percent right now um, probably another two days and this is the rear end of the Ferrari will be finished and now we are on the last part it still have another 13 percent but this is the rear of the ferrari looking pretty awesome and it's pretty tall part so probably only tomorrow morning it's gonna be done so hopefully nothing gonna collapse last minute we'll see you in the morning okay so it's finally finished took so many hours but this is the tail section look really really nice see then this piece is gonna get removed let's try to put them together hello so what we got here today is what uh, the project that I'm printing for a while now it's the Ferrari from Force versus Ferrari um, what it is it's a 3d print that they're gonna make a mold out of of the Ferrari uh, 330 uh, pre 3 and pre 4 is the same vehicle and what I did the 3d printing those pieces it took like three day four day and five days each one to print and then the way they're gonna hook up together gonna be this way and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a mold out of this and we're gonna make our own Ferrari something that is this is a car that will not really exist anywhere uh, so we're gonna make it now while I'm showing this I'm just gonna explain for if you want to do it yourself so after a 3d print it's just too big of a print to do this is a 110 scale and it's have all the details if you look inside all the details it's have here all the air vents and everything so all the details are there now all need to be done is to glue them together and I will do it right now in front of the camera to explain what I'm doing so I'm warming up my uh, hot glue gun and I'm not gonna glue it a lot I just gonna put two tabs just so I can gently move it around and manipulate it and you have to do it pretty quick and just set it up and hold it in one position and let the glue uh, kind of dry a little bit while you setting it up so if you're going to do something like this yourself you want to put pressure where the top is where it's merged and on the two side to move it so it's one smooth system here and here here I have a little bit of a gap it's okay <clears throat> because I have to uh, fill up those gaps 
Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna fill up with body filler for, for regular cars. Uh, now, I'm gonna do the front real quick. I use a lot of leftover materials. It's not really matter, the color is not really matter at all. Uh, and then I have inside this, this is like the build plate. You just a filler, uh, you just do this. You crash it and you take it out. So do this and then you just tear it off. And you have a cover. And all this will just come out and it's not part of the of the model. But right now we just want to see how it's fit. I'm gonna glue this as well. And again we just put a couple drop of glue. Uh, there is a line here that I need to align together. There is lines on the vehicle itself that I want to to be together. And let's it dry. It's pretty cold outside. It's like about 50 degrees here, so the glue is it's kind of dried right away. And there we have our car. It's kind of ready. Let's just like this so I can keep talking. So this is the 110 scale. Uh, Ferrari model and it have all the details of the real car and what I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna make a mold I'm gonna first sand everything down smooth it as much as possible and I'm gonna shoot automotive primer on it I'm gonna have to close here the the gap between the two prints also here on the back and what cool about this project is that I took a file from the computer and make into a 3d print that end up really nice now this car I have a curve over here that I'm gonna try to move this curve into the original uh, body that I'm gonna do right now but it's a problem because the material that you make the RC body want to always be flashed down so it can pop out so what I'm thinking about doing is making two piece fiberglass mold that will separate at the center so we can have the curve downwards um, Right now you can see it's have all the details, everything merged pretty nice. All this going to remove all the center, going to be completely empty. The tail have beautiful details on it of the exhaust, the lights. Also the front, they have all the air intakes. And we have the small fins. Again, all this will get cleared out. And then we're going to have the, the car ready to go. I got to go grab some wheels real quick so you see how it's look with So. I got those wheels that I'm keeping for a long time. The two different sizes for front and back. Uh, those used to be like the HPI racing, the vintage. So one will go here. I'm just putting it as if this car is ready to go. One gonna go there. This is not deep enough. And I have also other sizes. And it's also uh, gonna do, gonna look very cool. Actually, I'm gonna lower this a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna look pretty awesome. After this will be done and everything will sit the right way, this car will just look awesome. And again, this is all gonna be handmade, so it's gonna be, I'm thinking about building my own chassis and everything for it. I just wanted to share with everybody. Uh, let's take this and show it around a little bit. And this is the Ferrari 330 P1. Don't forget, like, subscribe and share because we're going to show a lot of cool stuff about it.